An ice rink in Madison is looking for some extra help after a fire left the rink iceless. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly spent some time at a synchronized skating practice to learn why it's important to keep this arena alive and its system from failing again. After the fire that broke the freezing equipment, Madison Ice had trouble getting their rinks to be firm enough to skate on. Now that they are back on the ice, people in the community wonder, will the system hold up? Ice, skating, and friendships come to mind when people think of a local rink in Madison. The friends and like the relationships make with other teammates from different areas. Madison Ice lost power last week, which led to a mechanical fire. While no one was hurt, the damage was done to the freezing equipment. As the technology continues to age, there's more risk to permanent loss. Skaters in the area hope their rink stays afloat. The arena houses synchronized skating, learn to skate sessions, and hockey teams, making this a place filled with memories. We both started doing learn to skate in this ring. Playing all the lessons has always been fun. Coach Emily Deemer says the fire was a wake-up call. Not only did she want to help her teams, but also a place that many call home. Deemer started a GoFundMe. Emily and Bailey have, have been fun. doing really amazing stuff for us, making this program and just making us better skaters overall. Yeah. Deemer says it's not an option to go somewhere else because of the high demand for ice time. When a rink, any rink, is not, funct you know, not functioning, you can't just pick up and go someplace else because those rinks are, are already full. If something else were to happen to these rinks and the community does not come together to fundraise for new equipment, many say they would be devastated. Yeah, this is what I do. This is my this is my my livelihood as well as many others' livelihood. It would be a huge shock. In the name of skating, the community is hoping to keep the arena around for many more years. The GoFundMe raised almost $8,000 in three days. For more information on where to help, visit NBC15.com. In the studio, Cameron Kelly, NBC15 News.